Welcome back, welcome back everyone. As always, it's a blessing to be here. If you guys are new to this channel, always make sure you subscribe to this channel so you can be informed every single time we drop information pack videos just like the one you're watching right now. But that being said, guys, today we'll be exploring the intersection of the finance, the technology, okay, and the biblical wisdom, which I'll be giving you guys and speaking about. So today we'll delve into an interesting topic, okay? The International Monetary Fund's recent stance on cryptocurrencies and their, their suggestion for governments to consider well-designed central bank digital currencies, okay? So, let's just dive in without no further ado, okay? The number one main point I want you guys to understand concerning XRP and XLM is that the IMF acknowledges the limitations of outright banning cryptocurrencies as an effective control measure, okay? So that means the IMF recognizes that the crypto landscape is evolving every single day rapidly and thoughtful approach is necessary, okay? Very, very key line where we discussed about what the IMF means, the International Monetary Fund, what they understand of these cryptocurrencies mean, what they also speak about, and what kind of power do they have to change within the world and the governments, such as so-called the WEF, World Economic Forum. So the second thing we'll be looking into, okay, basically in line with the biblical wisdom, the IMF is encouraging governments to consider well-designed central bank digital currencies, so-called CBDCs, that align with the principles of seeking knowledge and understanding before making decisions. This is what they've always been wondering and talking about. All of these have to align with the key factor, which is making decisions and moving the different cryptocurrencies and also connecting them with the different countries into one single currency to rule them all, right? But before they even do that, they have to make sure all the cryptocurrency and countries are in line with what they're doing and making sure that what they're talking about makes sense and that each country follows their specific guidelines and plays their role like it's a movie scene. So, by embracing the CBDCs, governments can exercise prudence and strategic thinking, which also can enable regulatory framework that promote economic stability and progress while still harnessing the potential benefits of these digital currencies. So we discuss about these digital currencies and thorough in so many videos. I'll just give you guys, you know, something, which of course we're going to be discussing in this video as well. Uh, but IMF is targeting countries saying that whatever you're doing with cryptocurrencies and you're banning them, it's not going to lead you into the new financial system, the new digital asset system, the new quantum financial system, the new central bank digital currency ruined or owned and applicated by the currencies which are central banks and of course they are talking about this in a meaningful manner so those countries can take the perfect initiative to make sure they're on board with the program okay these countries such as china that was or that had banned bitcoin for a while and then now they reversed it and now they're back in other countries, they're seeing the benefits of cryptocurrencies and now they're hopping back in. And now huge news broke out because, hey, whoever is creating payment systems and if, as long as it's not the Fed now system or the federal government involved, you're basically going to be dying off. And it's a, we're landing, we're going into a little bit of a conspiracy land, right? Because so many billionaires have been dying left and right, even so-called submarine and I don't believe they created any payment system, but billionaires have been dying left and right. At least this year, we have lost around four to six billionaires 
just in 2023 alone. Even the Cash App creator, even other creators, even cryptocurrency exchanges, cryptocurrency exchange creators and other decentralized application creators we've lost recently. So what does this mean? The competition is very, very tightening. And the Fed now or the elites are controlling the, and paving the way to where this digital currencies and also the central bank digital currencies are headed into. So this approach, okay, resonates with the biblical teachings on wisdom and discernment. Also, it reminds us to carefully consider our actions and well thought out solutions rather than, rather than resorting to hasty and ineffective measures. Also, as we navigate the complex and crucial understanding of world of finance and technology, let's all remember, guys, okay, the importance of seeking wisdom and aligning our choices with principles and to promote societal well-being and progress. Us humans, of course, not saying they're not all humans as well, but us, we need to align ourselves in a community in a community based environment. We need to come and join hand by hands like the BRICS nation and make sure that nobody will fight us off and we are the last and fighting humans or we are the last and fighting community together before this new destruction comes upon us. I hope you guys are understanding what I'm talking about because these cryptocurrencies are a huge feat. They're nothing small to be messed around with. Also, the IMF is backing XRP and XLM. So that shows us we've been right all along. The prices may not reflect what we're talking about. The prices definitely don't reflect what we're talking about. But every day, I'm bringing you guys news, okay, fundamentals that show us where the price is supposed to be headed. So don't focus on the price. Focus on the fundamentals for now and all of those fundamentals combined together will make a huge impact so let me just close this off video by basically concluding that i encourage you guys to explore deeper connections okay between biblical wisdom and involving the financial landscapes by considering the ims pr perspective on well-designed central bank digital currencies as we approach the relevant of ancient wisdom and guiding our modern decisions okay and that's what they're doing as well so thank you guys for joining us today in this video. I appreciate every single one of y'all. I love you guys. And I appreciate you guys more than you know, to be honest. And moving forward to explore more thought-provoking topics with you in the future. So remember, seeking wisdom and discernment is key in all aspects of life, including the cryptocurrencies. Until next time, guys, stay blessed. I'll see you on the next video. God bless. Peace out.